All right, I'm here with Joseph, on who is on the Windows Intune team, right? Yeah. And uh, you guys just launched a beta of your product, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, it's a pretty interesting concept of, of what you guys are, are trying to do there. Could you explain a little bit to us what is the purpose? What is Intune all about? Yeah. Yeah. So Intune is all about helping IT admins get some time back, right? So we start off looking at, okay, how do IT managers actually manage their PCs today? And when you look at a mid-market, we often hear them telling us they're busy, they're strapped, they don't have time. And so one of the concepts behind um, Windows in Tune was how do we make it easy for the IT admins? So we decided, and also another thing that we actually heard was, hey, people are, the employees are always on the road, they never come into the office for them to manage them. So that also added to the things we wanted to do. So what we said was, we want to provide user online service or the cloud to help the IT managers better manage their PCs. So we start with this concept of how do we help IT admins work anywhere and manage their employees from anywhere. So employees can work anywhere and they'll still be able to manage them from anywhere. So that's sort of what it's about, bring you know, some time back to the IT managers and help them manage from anywhere. Sounds sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what um, I mean, obviously, there's the whole side of the house on the system center, right? Yeah. And I know that's the goal for them to go go that direction. Yeah. What are what are some of the the differences between yeah. kind of the system center management and the Intune? Yeah, so actually, they are actually very similar. That's a great question, because they are actually very similar in terms of technologies. Windows Intune actually shares a lot of common technologies with the system center products. It's in terms of most of the system center products today are on-premise products, whereas Windows Intune is cloud-based. So for example, they will share the Windows Update infrastructure for patching. They will share the OS Manager um, client for monitoring of PC health, right? Both share the Microsoft Anti-Malware Engine, the forefront endpoint protection technologies for malware protection. So they share a lot of technologies together. The primary difference is that today's system center products are mostly on-premise and Windows in Tune is starting from the cloud. Okay. What about, what about scale? Is there, I mean, does Intune scale if I have 200,000 machines in my, my corporation? Or? <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's an interesting one because we, we are building the Windows in Tune infrastructure scales. Obviously we started with my team also in a building the Windows Update infrastructure that scales to hundreds of millions of PCs. Right. So from a scale perspective, we have that scale. But in terms of the end experience that we want to produce or provide to customers, we focus on the mid-market customers, who, which we believe actually have very high, have needs, but they don't have enough products to help them out and wanted to help them. So we are focused on their capability more on the mid-market. But in terms of the infrastructure, it scales in them to very large number of pieces. Okay, will be interesting to see what the future holds in that yeah, <laughs> department. Yeah, yeah, it'll be interesting. But um, we think, you know, um, we'll start with a mid-market, you know, okay. help them do well and we'll see how it goes. Conceptually, I'm just, I'm an IT guy and I'm just thinking about how, what are the requirements of deploying this stuff out mm -hmm. there? I mean, I've got an environment, let's say, of mixed clients, you know, maybe I have some Macs, I have some PCs, mm -hmm. I have um, some people on a domain, some people are not on a domain. Mm -hmm. Can can Intune just handle all of that, or or how does that work? Yeah. <laughs> so Windows Intune, um, we are primarily focused on Windows PC management. Yeah. We want Windows customers to have the best possible experience. So we're starting with Windows PC management. Um, we are going to focus on XP. SP3 and above um, in terms of the clients that we support. Um, we are not planning to do Mac support at any point. Um, okay. So, what about, what about machines that are not joined to the domain? So that's actually one of the key scenarios that we wanted to make sure um, actually happened. Um, we supported. So machines that are not joined to the domain can still be supported by Windows in Tune. So especially for the sales person who's on the road or the person working from home, where their PC is not joined to the domain, they can still be managed using Windows Intune. Okay. Okay, well, let's say then I have, uh, I don't know, 500 machines out mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Uh, how do I get the client onto all these devices? Yeah. Great question. So there are a number of ways you can get a client onto um, those PCs. 
if you have 500 machines, you probably have some infrastructure. You either you can use group policy, software installation. If you have you know AD set up for your on-premise folks, you can use you know some of you can just any solution that you have that you use to distribute software today, you could use it, or you could do it manually. You know, put it on a share, send email to users, and point them to go click on it. I know that. Um there is the cap there's a lot of different capabilities of like deploying policies, updates. You get all kinds of reporting back on what kind of software you have and your antivirus and you know if there's viruses on machines. There's all this kind of cool stuff. Um, one of the things I was wondering about is is de is actually deploying software. Yeah. I mean, is that something that that Intune will handle? Or? Yeah, that's something that you know we really wish you could have in this version. Um, <laughs> but we wanted to get you know some of the core needs that we heard from the mid market out. But something that we've had feedback on. And we'll probably um, add that capability, but in this first version, it's actually not in the feature set. We wanted to focus on the key things that the IT managers told us, you know, I pain point today, right? They get interrupted by viruses. When a virus attack ha happens, they, don't, they cannot say, oh, we'll put it off. They have to take it right away. When patch Tuesday or security issues come up, they need to deal with it right away. So we focus the first version of helping remove some of those pain points and give them back time. But uh, as we move forward in a more frequent cycle, we'll add some of those capabilities like software mm -hmm. distribution, et cetera. But um, right now, it's not in this release. OK. Um, one of the interesting things you just mentioned was the, was the antivirus yeah. piece or anti-malware piece. What are the capabilities there? Um, can I use an alternate antivirus? or And what does the antivirus look like with Intune? Yeah. So with Windows in Tune, we include obviously a, a micro, the Microsoft Anti-Malware Client. It's the same client that is used in the forefront endpoint protection. Um, it's the same um, engine that's used in the Microsoft Security and Essential. So there's, it's built on a very solid, repeatable um, foundation. So we we'll obviously prefer everybody use their anti-malware product in Windows in Tune. However, um, we also recognize some people may have third-party anti-malware solutions, and so when our installation happens, we notice those um, that a PC has a third party and non Microsoft anti malware installation. We'll leave that there, but we'll notify the IT admin that, hey, you know, we saw that you have a third party um, anti malware product and we left it there so that they are aware that we are not actively, you know, protecting that PC using our technology. Okay. You just give the report back and say, hey, uh, we know it's there, and uh, you'll, will you tell people that if the, the definitions are out of date or no? Or is it no, kind of hands no. off? At right as hands off, because okay. we, we don't know enough about those products to take responsibility That's for right. managing them. That's so. right. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about, uh, there's one of the things that I just happened to see on your website, which mm -hmm. is saying that people who subscribe to Windows and Tune, they get free updates. Mm -hmm. um, what What kinds of free updates does that what does that mean what, what yeah. software do people get so think of windows in tune as you know it's a combination of the service which i was primarily talking about where we provide pc management uh -huh. there's also a component that gives the end, um, end user windows sa rights like upgrade to newer versions of um, windows if they've paid for the um, license of windows pro that is required for windows in tune and they also get access to the microsoft desktop optimization pack products like the diagnostic and recovery tool set for helping resolve problems. So they'll get all that package in the Windows in Tune offering. Okay. You get the other and then you get all the stuff with like the virtualization and those types of things yeah. as well. Yeah. 